the Japanese surrendered and left Indochina after the Americans dropped the atomic bomb on Hiroshima in August of 1945. The French came back to Sipsong Dong Dai in February of 1946 and tried to rule Indochina as before. But the Viet Minh and other Indochina guerrilla groups, such as the Patet Lao and Khmer Israq, were formed to defeat and chase the French out of Indochina. Facing the uprising of their former subordinates, France tried to form a stronghold to rule over Indochina once more. And again, because of its crossroads territory, Sipsong Zhao Dai was unfortunately chosen as a battlefield for political as well as military confrontation. The French promised independence and prosperity. And with the help of the Thai leaders, a newborn independent country under the protectorate of France was born in March of 1948, the Thai Federation. In Thai Dam, we call this new country Simhok Dao Thai, or the 16 Thai Principalities. This was the flag of the Thai Federation. Mr. Dilwen Long of Lai Zhao Province was elected president of the Thai Federation. Mr. Bagam Gui of San La Province was elected vice president. The government of the Thai Federation. France was not the only country using local Thai Dam people to gain political and military power. Ho Chi Minh and the Communist Vietnamese also tried to conquer the small piece of territory called the Thai Federation. Vietnam also got the support of the local people by promising autonomy and prosperity. Consequently, the Thai Federation did not last very long. Only a few years later, with the advance of the communists in 1951, the Thai Dam government fought alongside the French. In November of 1952, to protect the lives of top personnel in the Thai Dam government, many high officers, administrators, and their families were evacuated to Hanoi. At that time, Hanoi was still under French domination. Hundreds of Thai Dam took refuge in Hanoi, including my own family. Months later, we were joined by families of Thai Dam soldiers. We stayed in Hanoi for two years, two years full of anxiety and homesickness. In the meantime, there was lots of fighting going on in the Thai Federation. One of the bloodiest battles was the now famous battle of Dien Bien Phu. Dien Bien Phu was a name given by the Vietnamese to one of our cities, Mung Thang. Mung Thang, which meant the Arena of Gods, was one of the Thai Dam's most respected cities. Dien Bien Phu became a famous and last battlefield of the Indochina War because of its location a valley surrounded by high mountains. It would have been a strong and invincible fortress for the French if the communists had not been helped by some of the locals. Finally, in May of 1954, came the end of the Battle of Dien Bien Phu. Unfortunately, the French were defeated in spite of a huge army of soldiers and weapons worth 3.25 billion dollars. Eighty percent of this amount, 2.6 billion, was provided by the United States of America. French colonization in Indochina ended at the Geneva Conference in July of 1954. At that conference, North and South Vietnam were created, the North belonging to Viet Minh and the South to the non-communist Vietnamese. 
the newly created Thai Federation was absorbed by North Vietnam. The Thai Dam in Hanoi, in the meantime, were families of high officers and military personnel and afraid of persecution. They had two places to flee, South Vietnam or Laos. Half of these Thai Dam went to South Vietnam. The other half escaped to Laos in July of 1954. Under the leadership of Mr. Bakamsuk, the Thai Dam, including my own family, amid lots of pain and tears moved into Laos. Our first home in Laos was Pa Nang Am in Sien Kuang province. Because of resettlement difficulties, we moved from place to place. We moved from Sing Kuang to Vieng Chan, the capital of Laos, in August 1955. 